Hello, I finally received the two new oscillators from Tangible Waves, the Sawbox and the FMOS. These are two digital oscillators that are based on an 8-bit chip, so it's fairly lo-fi, but they have quite a really nice sound to them, which really adds to the, to the repertoire of the other modules. So just quickly uh, going through the Sawbox, uh, you have your typical CV1 and CV2 control voltage input, which are, is controlling the frequency of the oscillator. Then you have a filter CV control, a resonance CV control, and an amplifier CV control. This means that this oscillator is a full synth voice in itself. It has a filter and it has resonance, and through the CV you can control the amplitude. So that's, that's already pretty good. But you also have a one or two oscillator spread. So if you have that on one oscillator, you have only the one saw oscillator. But if you put it on two, you get a detuned second oscillator to it. Let's listen how that sounds like. So here you can hear the fairly bassy sound of the saw wave oscillator. And now we can hear what, what happens when you change the filter. You can also add some resonance. Doesn't go into self-oscillating mode though, that's no. And if you change the oscillator to 2, you get a really fat sound. Really nice. Especially in the bass um, area, it is really, really deep and quite pleasing, even though it is very low fi with the 8-bit audio. So this was the Sawvox. There's really not much more to it. It's a very simple oscillator, but everything in here can be CV controlled. The really nice thing is the detuned second oscillator if you put that on too. I really like that. And at the end of this video, I will uh, show you a longer patch where I'm using this uh, quite, quite a lot. The second oscillator is the FMOS. So these two oscillators are actually built with the same chip. So it's really the programming and the controls that are different. So the FMOS is a frequency modulated oscillator and that means that instead of a filter and an amplifier, you have a multiplier and a depth of, of um, influence. So what happens is that you choose either a sine wave or a triangle wave. And then when you change the multiplier, it actually goes back and um, you have another wave that influences it, um, the uh, first oscillator again. So let's, uh, let's listen how that sounds like with just everything to the left. So here you can hear just a sine wave. I'm just using the keyboard to change the pitch here. And it's as if there was a filter that makes it very, very dull. So if I increase the multiplier here, and the mod depth, the sound becomes a little bit brighter.
you can hear that it is fairly um, that it's fairly metallic. It becomes harsher and harsher. So I can also change the waveform to a triangle wave. Interesting, if I change this to about this setting and I then go and uh, use a sequencer, I can actually create church bells if I just use a delay. So that was the FMOS and the Solvox. So uh, on the FMOS also you can change the multiplier and the mod depth via CV and that's really all there is. You can change the octave plus two or change triangle to sine wave and uh, it makes really nice bell-like sounds. After this I have a little uh, tune or uh, patch that I made and I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching.